Tonight, a Tyler Town City official is off the job after getting busted in a child sex sting. 54-year-old Public Works Director Michael Grubbs was arrested at a Wiggins motel in an undercover operation with the Pine Belt Human Trafficking Task Force. He is charged with felony enticement of a child for sex. We're told authorities now to seven other suspects. Authorities say they were trying to meet up with someone posing as a 14-year-old. And in the digital age, human trafficking is happening all around us, even in the palm of your hands. Fox 23's Quintus Jones spoke to an investigator with the Pine Belt Human Trafficking Task Force who says prevention begins at home. Investigator Hendricks says the predators are using social media and the internet to find their victims. That's why it's important for parents to know what your kids are doing on these. They need to know what apps are on their child's phone. They need to know who their kids are chatting with online. Forest County Chief Investigator Philip Hendricks says some of those common apps like Plenty of Fish, well, they're breeding grounds for some predators. I don't think you're even supposed to be on that site or app unless you're 18. But Hendricks says that some kids will lie about their age and the pedophiles prey on that. When our undercover chatters identify as a juvenile, some of them are just fine with it and they keep going, keep going right along. When it comes to human trafficking, Hendricks says it's important to spot the warning signs. If you have a child showing up with expensive, say, designer shoes or purses or, say, a cell phone that you don't know who's paying the bill for it, those would be warning signs to immediately find out. Now, if you suspect anyone is a victim of human trafficking, there is a hotline number you can call. We'll have all the information for you at our website and our social media pages. But for now, reporting in Forest County, I'm Quintus Jones for Fox 23 News.